Hello guys, welcome to the Moon Child Tarot and I hope you are all doing well. So I know I was missing for some time and I am really sorry for that and I hope you forgive me because I was really busy with work and I wasn't really, um, I didn't really have enough energy to do reading so that's why I said I'm going to take a break but now I am back and today we are going to see what do you need to hear right now and by the way the outdoor is a bit noisy so if you hear any kind of noises I'm sorry for that and yeah so today we are going to see what do you need to hear about your life any advice or you know anything that is basically that you need to hear you know I don't have to make it longer so yeah and we are going to have three piles today and let me put the piles here i have some nice cute little stones and yeah let's let's use this tree today so this is going to be the pile one this is going to be pile two and this is going to be pile three let me show you a bit better I hope I'm in the angle guys if I am not I am sorry so this is the first pile this marble heart is the second pile and this clear quartz is the third pile so I'm going to give you a couple of seconds basically not seconds couple of minutes so that you can make your selections and please try to connect to your intuition and choose your pile with your intuition because it is going to direct you to the right pile so yeah pile one pile two pile three so let's start with the pile one and put these ones on the side and this is pile one so before we start what do you need to hear right now I just want to check how your mood is like how you are feeling recently so for my viewers that chose pile one how are they feeling how's their life what's going on eight of swords Seven of Wands. Are you okay, Pile One? Nine of Wands. Hangman. Let me put this ones a bit on this side so that you can we can put one more card on this little part here. So pile one ace of pentacles. Okay. So first things first, let me grab this deck. I feel like you feel you can't really do anything like you want to do some things but you feel like you just can't do it and other people like the people around you makes you feel more paranoid about it like you just they make you paranoid and because of that reason you try to be like okay let me just postpone it maybe they are right maybe I can't do that but that's just I think they are just jealous of you like I, I'm seeing a lot of evil eye on you to be honest let me just I want to pull more cards and then the hermit in the reverse what do they need to hear spirit can you please show me what do they need to hear 
Page of Cups. What do they need to hear? Pile one. Ten of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And let's grab this one. What do they need to hear, pile one? Can you please show me pile one? What do they need to hear right now? Friendship. And hope. Okay. So Okay. First of all, guys, like I said, I feel like there's a situation that you feel like you have no power on it like you can't really change it and i feel like this is probably about a maybe this could be a business idea that you want to you know start a business or maybe you want to do something that is going to benefit your finance in the future so this could even be maybe just like a course or masters or something like that but i feel like the people around you with these seven of ones i feel like they are just attacking you like you know they 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 are like you can't really do that and you feel like you just have to keep defending yourself all the time which is very tiring you know and you know there's kind of like arguments and chaotic environment around you and even though we have this friendship card we, i will come to this one in in a bit but i feel like you have to be more careful about the people that you allow in your circle because i feel like mm, i don't want to say this but i feel like you are someone that you kind of easily affected by others like others opinions maybe if they tell you something you know that's not a good business idea or that maybe you shouldn't do that course i feel like you just get affected really easily and maybe you can work on that that's that's what i am feeling right now because these people just delay your success and delay the money that is going to come to you they are just like creating blockages and you just like okay maybe they are right and you just hang the situation you just leave it in the past you know you just say okay maybe i should work on this idea more before i really invest in it but you no know, you don't have to because you actually have the power to you know fulfill this dream of yours and yeah that's how i feel and i feel like the cards are telling you with this hermit in the rivers and the page of cups and ten of wands the cards are telling you you need to you need to you know live this um, situation where you kind of go inside and you don't you know talk to anyone anymore because they you feel like you're not good enough for this job and you're like whoever i talk they just make me feel bad so i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna talk to that no the cards are telling you you should choose the right people with this friendship card around you to you know support you and you shouldn't really think about what these other dumb people tell about you because it's not really important so these friendship cards are saying fairies and humans alike need friends now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams so yeah you don't you just need to get out of your shell and be with the right people around you and end these um and these situation where you kind of delay and postpone and not trusting yourself this is what you need to hear right now you 
you should trust yourself more and you should take the initiative to start building your business or building your ideas and the cards that we have the hope card here with these lovely rainbow image let me show you here and it says hope is always there even if we can't see it optimistic expectations can help change a negative situation into positive one so the card is saying hope is there but it is just how you <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys how you are affected by these other people hope is there hope is you and there is always hope you just need to change how you see this situation you just need a different kind of perspective and the cards are saying if you become if you if you act really optimistic everything is going to work in your favor and then i feel like this is also like business or whatever this idea is i feel like this is something that you are really passionate about like it kind of makes you feel excited and you know when you when you're happy doing something your heart just feels like you know <laughs> beating fast and stuff like that so i feel like this is something like that and most people don't really support this but you just have to do it you just have to trust yourself so that's what you need to hear right now guys and i hope you like this reading if you did you can subscribe to my channel for more readings like this one and thank you so much i really appreciate you please take care of yourself and i'm going to see you on another reading bye bye if you have chosen these cute little marble hearts this is going to be your reading which is the second pile and we are going to see what you need to hear right now okay this could be related to your job your family your partner anything anything that is really important to you so for pile two what do they need to hear right now pile two This might not be for everyone guys but I feel like this situation you might be in a situation where like three people is included but one of them is like maybe you may not know about them or maybe you feel like it's not that important in your life but I feel like I'm just I'm just seeing three people how is their situation right now? Pile two. Knight of Cups. Great. How is their situation right now? I've seen this card when I was shuffling, but I was like, let me just shuffle more. And then it just kept dropping. So, oops. The Magician. <coughs> Let me grab this. What do they? Oops, that's a lot of cards. What do they need to hear right now, please? What do they need to hear right now? Pile two. What do they need to hear right now? The Empress. What do they need to hear right now? King of Pentacles. The lovers. I feel like your message is probably going to be love, re love related. Ten of swords. Okay. Are you pregnant, guys? Or I feel like let me let me just take more cards. I don't I don't want to talk without tuning into the cards. What do they need to hear? Pile two, please. Hmm. 
music. What do they need to hear right now? Pile 2, what do they need to hear? Pile 2, stargazing. Okay. So first things first guys, I feel like you are very intuitive and I feel like you can actually achieve whatever you want in your life or let's say you want to have a certain kind of situation if you really you know meditate over it or you know like everyone has different methods obviously think about it you feel I feel like you have this magician power that is in your soul like we also have this stargazing card which can also indicate that so I feel like this is I'm, I'm going to obviously talk about there are so many messages coming through but I feel like the first thing is that you have to you have to realize this power that you have if you if you feel like you can't achieve or you can't really manifest anything into your life no you can you have this power you are very intuitive and I feel like you may you may work with fire I feel like or you might be a fire element every Sagittarius or Leo that's that's the thing that's the first thing that I'm getting from your reading so I feel like now you you are in a situation where there is someone or this could also be you like there are two different situations and <coughs> <coughs> there are two different situations and you're kind of juggling they are sorry not you probably the person that is related to you in this situation kind of juggles two different options or this could obviously be a perf sorry this could obviously be another person but this could also be anything like the family and you know job but to be very honest i feel like this is another person and the thing i'm getting is that okay let me put it this way this might not be for everyone guys but i feel like you might be in a situation ship with a married man okay and if you are not in a situation with with a married man you might be married to this person and then they might have a different kind of option on the other side okay because this is definitely a three person situation and i feel like if you are okay i'm going to talk about for both situations i feel like if you are um married to this person i feel like this person just keeps you know going to this other person and then when this person doesn't want their love or when that person you know doesn't really give them the attention that they want they just come back to you i know I know this is a bit heavy but this is what I see or if you are this outsider person who is in a relationship with these married men I feel like I feel like this person tells you like you know they their their marriage is not really good you know they're not really interested in them but it's just be that maybe they are going to have a kid or something so that's why he's like he cannot leave and stuff 
you know he might be telling you some bullshit about that <clears throat> okay <clears throat> but in both situations these cards are telling you that you are the empress okay so who is empress maybe you probably know from other readers or other readings but empress is someone who stands on her own feminine power whatever happens you know she's always feminine she always knows her worth and she never you know she's not like queen of swords she's very feminine like she she's very feminine like i said <clears throat> but being feminine doesn't mean like she's weak or anything she's really smart so the cards are telling you we also have this stargazing card. The cards are telling you that you can actually you can actually create something that is more stable with this person and you have this power and I feel like guys there might be a big age gap between you and this person that's also another thing that I'm getting which makes me feel more like this person could be married guys if you don't know th about that this person could be married and you might be this young girl on the outside that he kind of enjoys the friendship and stuff <coughs> and i feel like the cards are telling you that if that is the case you need to end this situation for your own happiness because i feel like this person is never going to leave that other lady or other situation and it's always going to be a problem in your life so i feel like you just need to end that connection or maybe put a distance and then see how it goes and we have this card music here and it says listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear music can lift your soul rekindle memories and charm fairies to your door so this card is telling you that when you listen to your music just just be a bit more careful about the lyrics because there might be a message for you about this situation and the music that you are listening and we also have the stargazing card which says when you gaze at the stars you give yourself fairy focus your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation so like I said you just have to Go within and you know really analyze the situation why maybe you have been this per why you have been with this person or what this person really feels about you or what is his intentions towards future the cards are telling you there are so many things that you need to really think about this man or woman whatever and they ask you to go within yourself yes guys that's the message i'm getting for you and i hope this reading resonates and if it did you can subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you on another reading thank you so much and please take care bye bye hello guys so if you have chosen these crystal quartz this is going to be your reading so let's put it here and see what you need to hear right now so pile three what do they need to hear right now pile three i'm seeing number four <coughs> it could be important for you 
we have the deaths. So how are they feeling now? First. Can I have the one by one, please? What do they need to hear? Pile to we? I'm hearing let go. Queen of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. What do they need to hear right now? We have two of ones twice, guys. There is a decision time for sure. What do they need to hear right now? I feel like there's a situation that you need to let go and you kind of think about letting go of this situation for some time now. And I feel like this situation kind of makes you feel unworthy, like like you know when someone throws like in this picture like bad crumbs for you it just makes you feel like you are asking for bread crumbs like no what do they need to hear right now Pile three what do they need to hear thank you knight of swords and we have the Six of Cups at the back of the deck. Let's put this here and let's grab this. What do they need to hear? Can I have the one by one, please? What do they need to hear? Pile to me, thank you. <coughs> Wisdom. Solitude. Okay, first of all guys, I feel like you might had a really sudden change in your life recently, like obviously this doesn't have to be death, but it could also be a death, like maybe you lost one of your loved ones, or maybe someone that you really trusted just stabbed you from back that you didn't really expect, and you kind of started healing, you know? and i feel like actually not started i feel like you're kind of you know healed but you feel empty 
if that makes any sense because I feel like this message that I'm going to give you now is more about you it's not about someone else or you know something that is in your life but it's more about you because in all of these cards I'm just seeing you I don't see anything that is related to another person so I feel like this situation you had a situation that has really affected you from your roots and this could also be a maybe you had a business and it didn't go well and you lost some money <coughs> and then for after some time you just <coughs> you know started making your own money again and then you become this queen of pentacles but it still affected <coughs> affected your core and you know how hard it was to come from this 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 situation to this situation and now you are like <coughs> what am i going to do maybe you have the money you have the stability in your life and you're like <coughs> what am i going to do and i feel like there is a situation in your life that you need to decide but this situation doesn't really um, include other people it's more about you and I also feel like you might have left someone in your past before that you had really good memories and this situation kind of hurts you but I feel like you are you are a bit more like independent you know you don't really feel sad or crying over this situation every night you kind of accepted it and you find the happiness in yourself so I don't really see or I think you I feel like you're really strong <coughs> that's how I feel I feel like you're giving me a Capricorn or like Capricorn Scorpio energy or Aries Leo yeah and um <coughs> I feel like I feel like this decision that you need to make could be about your family it doesn't have to be it could be maybe a love of her that is pending for some time and <coughs> the cards are telling you you need to be rational about that <coughs> rather than <coughs> rather than going with your you know heart you have to be more rational but at the same time I feel like you don't have a lot of time left to decide on this thing so the cards are telling you be rational and you know still be careful but give a decision that's what I am feeling and we have this wisdom card here and it says have you ever been told that you are wise beyond your years now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge <coughs> and this challenge is this card the situation that you had in your past I'm coming guys just give me a second please over the situation and we also have this solitude card it says think of being alone as meaning you are all one in and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times so I feel like maybe you know um, like I said this loss or the situation that you left in your past <coughs> kind of made you feel like you're alone you know you're strong but you're alone you know sometimes we kind of feel empty even though we have everything so I think this is something like that that you're feeling and the cards are saying being alone is not being lonely so it's about loving yourself it's about being all one in yourself the cards are telling you that 
you are strong enough to be happy on your own and you actually have most of the tools that you need to be that sorry that you that can make you feel happy (coughs) 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 sorry so yeah And the last message I'm getting for you is that, guys, someone from your past, and I feel like this is a younger male, probably with blonde hair and blue eyes, or like more on the pale side, thinks about you a lot. This is completely random, and it may not even make sense for you or for everyone, but it just came through, and I wanted to deliver. So yeah, this was your reading pile 3 and if you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'm going to see you on another reading. Until then, please take care and I love you all. Bye bye.